Hi, today we'll be exploring TypeSense, a lightning fast open source search engine for creating those instant search as you type experiences. Let's get started. So search is becoming more and more important uh, these days and you want people to find information uh, fast on your website or if you're running a business, if you're selling something, for example, you have a shop, a storefront, you want people to easily find products to be able to uh, sell them. So nowadays, when it comes to search, you can go for something like Algolia, which is uh, an impressive tool, but it's also very expensive, especially if you're building something production grade or something more than just a small project. Or you can use Elasticsearch, which is a very powerful tool, but it's also known for being very complex and quite difficult to configure. So TypeSense is this alternative which has the simplicity of Algolia uh, and power of Elasticsearch. And at the same time, it's open source. So you can host it yourself or you can use the cloud, which they also offer. And the idea, the main idea here is that you have a tool which is easy to install and easy to maintain. So this, there is this low overhead. And at the same time, it's configured out of the box the way that it covers most of the use cases. So you don't have to really touch the configuration and it should work as expected. And you have a lot of interesting features, uh, type tolerance, uh, you can do dynamic sorting, grouping, all the other things that you'd expect with uh, production grade solutions. And today I would like to show you how we can uh, build a front-end app in JavaScript uh, using TypeSense. And then we will try to improve it in the future episodes, for example, using uh, React. And then I will give you um, maybe a real world uh, case with uh, TypeSense. So we will be using this tool for uh, build this um, UI library created by Algolia for building search UIs. And TypeSense is uh, compatible with that. So we can create a project on top of type instant search, and then we can use TypeSense instead of Algolia for the actual uh, search. So we can uh, go to the docs first. So let me just click here. And the first thing would be to install TypeSense. And it's relatively straightforward because it's just a single binary. So we can get it for your operating system. And once you have it, you just run it. So you specify the directory, an empty directory where the data, <clears throat> where your data should live. And then you can provide the IP API key which then has to be the same on the front end so that the server knows from which um, location the requests are coming. And we are also naming course in this case. So we just start and it starts on the port 8107, 8108. And we can access it in the browser or we can uh, open a new uh, tab here and we can just ping, you know, send a get request to see if everything is okay. And in our case, it's okay. Once we have it installed, let's try to build a search application and we will be following this tutorial. So we need the data and we need the data set. And in this case, this will be a set of books. And then we will go to the search UI components, which shows how to build this um, search frontend on top of instant search using the adapter provided by TypeSense. So what we have to do is to run this command. So let's try to do that. It's 
So in this window, I will uh, write it, but instead of using npx, I will use pnpm. So we are using the create instance search app and then let's call it type sense exploring. Maybe <laughs> exploring type sense. And we want to uh, use the instance search JS for now. This we can uh, keep. Well, I made a mistake here, but that's not a problem. None. Dynamic widgets. Okay, so we have this. Let's open it in VS Code. So it's a very simple app. We have just app.js and then we have uh, a index HTML, which has the structure. And using those IDs, we will be attaching pieces of UI. So we'll be attaching the search uh, box, the results, and then faces if we decide to add them and a pagination as well. So for now, this is configured for Algolia and we want to change that. So let's go back to uh, our tutorial. And here we will uh, first install the adapter. So let's add the adapter. So just so you know, there's a few things I don't like about, about this uh, creator is that it's still using parcel one and there is that this project is deprecated. So this is something that probably should be uh, changed in the future. And now we can um, adjust the, the project to use um, TypeSense. So we have our instance, the TypeSense instance running here in this window. So we need to replace the, this part of the code with this one. So let's copy paste like that. And in our uh, app.js, I'm replacing that. And here for the host, I will use uh, Something like that. And this is the API key we defined. So in our case, it was something like that. So we're importing, setting the node, uh, search parameters. So this will be books and we'll be querying by title and authors. And the index name is uh, books in our case. And that should be fine. So now we need to import the, the data. So let's go back here and um, let's create a file called uh, import.js. And then we need data. We just, so we downloaded the data from here. So let's move it to our uh, project. So let's move it here and we will untar. So we should have it here. That's how we can remove and let's see what's inside. So we have a lot of books. I think it's over almost 10,000. Yeah. And now we can write the script that imports the data. So first of all, we need to initialize the client. I will just grab this piece of code here. And maybe we should do something like that. Like that. Uh, 
and here and API key again. So let me try to run this. It works. So, so now let's uh, define the schema. So in the schema, we define which fields we have and the type and if it should be a facet or, or not. And we create the schema. So we'll simplify this a little bit. So instead of doing then, we will um, do something like that. Okay, so we already created, I created this uh, books um, index. So let me uh, remove it first. Collections. Uh, delete. And it works. So it's just displaying the result of this query and we have the schema so now we need, we need to add uh, the documents so we have those documents here in the json l and now we can just do um documents and we can read file from this directory like that uh, we just need uh, the file system So we will require it and we want to have promises like that. And we can finally import the data. So we can do client collections books in our case as we defined and documents and then import. And we will import the documents and then we can also define the batch size so we'll be inserting by 100 elements and that should be it we can run and we have a problem because i made a typo it works so we imported 10,000 documents in books into our index search index and let's now um, see if we can search for that. So here we define it. So normally if I just run this generated um, app, we should already see something, but we have a problem. No Axios, so let me add that. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because PNPM installs differently. Uh, log level, okay. And voila, we have this. So let's try to run it. It works, but we have nothing displayed. Let's see. Dynamic widgets. So let's open the app container dynamic widgets and uh, I think we don't need that. I made a mistake. Let's see. It compiles. Okay, we have something, but still no results. Face it. Okay. Let's see, uh, I think we don't need that. <laughs> and yeah, we have something. Something is being displayed in the hits. We just need to ad adjust this. 
so let's see what tutorial is specifying so if we go back to this part yeah so we need to have a custom template and we will just copy this part so here it means that each element uh, should be displayed uh, this way uh, so it works there is something and if I now start typing so let's say Hobbit it finds uh, Hobbit hobbies because it's uh, fault tolerant and rabbit and all other stuff and we have a pagination already there and it paginate only through those elements that match so let's play a little bit with that so it's displays only uh, how many 10 so let's uh, configure it to display um, 12 so it should be uh, configure and uh, hits per page 12 okay I need to do it four widgets okay we have 12 we don't see images so maybe because it's empty here and we have images perfect everything works so what else we could add uh, facets on the left for example so let's try to do that so I will do instant search widgets and in instant search library it is called refinement list and then we have to specify the container um, so let's call it a refinement and then which attribute we want to take so in our case let's take authors so let me just go back here so you could see the data so we have um, title authors here we reference that if we do this and then we add the refinements here I called refinement we have this perfect so now I can for example search only through JD Rob and I want glory or naked now maybe death yeah so I have only from this author with matching uh, this uh, query it's pretty awesome and also I can paginate through that so finally maybe we could add uh, the sorting um, so it's pretty similar we need a new widget here let's write it so it will be instant search widgets and in this case it's called sort uh, by like that and then we have to specify the container sort by like that and then we have to specify the items so we will do maybe label default and this will be just the index as it is and then we will do hmm, let's do publication year and then we have to specify the value and there's a special syntax in TypeSense so I do slash sort and the name of the field and so in our case publication year and we'll be doing it ascending so once we have that we need to just add the sort by um, element ID to our index so we can add it here 
and now if I go to the website, I have default and then publication year and it changes. And that was pretty um, straightforward to implement. So now we have a very, I would say, sophisticated system where we can, you know, search by anything in the title uh, and then have a face it for, um, can refine this through authors and then we can do uh, sorting by a field. The only problem with this project is that it uses JavaScript and not TypeScript. And then we have this strange, you know, attachment to the DOM. So in the next video, I want to redo this example in React. And we will see how uh, easy or difficult it is to achieve the same thing using, using React.js. And then, and the next one maybe, we'll see how it goes. I want to provide you with a production grade example. So where we could use that. Uh, so we will, my idea is to show you how you can build a storefront, a shop, and then add a search like that of products so that when someone comes to your shop, they can instantly search through all the products and find what they want to uh, buy. So that's TypeSense. I'm pretty um, excited about this project. It's one of my favorites recently. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. And uh, that's all. See you in the next one.